and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a brand new unboxing. Well, for me anyway. This is going to be my first ever witch casket unboxing. I have never had one of these before, hence the first ever. I was watching some unboxings of last month's witch casket and it was insane. The box was so good that I straight away I was like, I need this in my life. So I ordered next month. I, uh, well, this month. It was next month, last month. Um, so I'm excited about this. I really hope that last month wasn't a one-off, that it was going to be terrible because I have literally, since the day I ordered it, been so excited. I actually went and ordered some of the stuff from the other box anyway. You can't order previous boxes, but they do sell bits in the box. So I ordered a couple of bits. Just for the record, I'm not a witch. I do not do spells, so I apologise for any mispronunciations or things I don't know what they are, but I love that type of thing. I wish I was in that. I wish I was magic. Obviously, who doesn't? But we will see how this goes. So, ooh, everything falls out. <laughs> it's got which casket on the box. It's got loads of bits of paper on the top. It smells amazing. It kind of... There's a very familiar smell coming out of this box. I just can't put my finger on what it is. But it's nice. So this is the list of what's in it. Uh, and this is May's casket. So this is all about positive vibes. I can do with some of that. <laughs> so we get a print. And it's by Tea Cake Art. So this is Moth Orchid. There was a longer word, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. Moth Orchid with a moon. So that's pretty... I have behind you guys, I have a whole wall of like postcards and little prints that come in other boxes, so that will get stuck up on the wall. Uh, we have another one, which is rat lady art, which is so cute. It is a little witch rat casting a spell, and I literally can't think of anything cuter because I love rats and I love witches, and that's amazing. This is definitely going to model. Okay, so what is this? Positive Vibes flip book. So this is one of those things that you put on your desk. I don't have a desk, I work in a hospital. I have whatever computer is free at the time and how quickly I can use it and run away again. So you would put this on your desk. Uh, it's just some little sayings, I believe. So this one on the back says, There is something good in every day. I believe in myself and great things will happen. Everything is getting better every day. I am stronger than I realise. So these are all just positive sayings. Um, I will never use this. Because one, I don't have a desk. Two, I don't know. I don't really feel like... I'm quite a positive person anyway, and these things just don't really do anything for me because at the end of the day it's just words. And I think I do believe that if you don't believe that in yourself anyway, reading it on a piece of paper is not going to help. But it's cute. I might give it to someone else who I think needs some positivity in their life. We have a spell. I do believe that you get a spell in all the boxes. I think I can smell incense. So this is Confidence Anointment Elixir Kit. Contains all the magical ingredients you need to imbue everyday times with a magical positivity. Imbue? Is that a word? <laughs> so in here you get the spell on a pink piece of paper. A pencil that says I can, I will, I can, I will, I can, etc, etc. And it's just a pink pencil. Um, unless that's part of the spell, I won't use that because I don't use pencils. Some cards. I think these are what you're supposed to chant. And there's two that say exactly the same thing. It says, fire burn and set me free from this insecurity. All my doubts abandon me. As I will it, so more it be. So yeah, sounds like a spell. I assume you have two so two people can do it. Then we have some leaves. Time, maybe. 
and some stuff. This might actually say what that is. Oh, bay leaves. Time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure time are like long thing things actually. Um, so you will need a pencil. Oh, this is for the spell. Uh, spell card, yarrow, bay leaves, and water or essentials oils. So I'm guessing the other bag is yarrow. Who knows? Maybe I'll try that. See if I can get some positivity going. Especially at work. There's a lot of negativity at work. This lump in my hair is doing my head in. I have like a horn and it's driving me mad. I've tried straightening it. I've tried hair spraying it. it won't go away. Anywho. We have a little bag. Meg. With a rose quartz. It's a pink stone with little black dots in it. Getting there bits of like stone. It's pretty. And it says rose quartz is a stone for every type of love, self love, platonic, family, romantic, you name it. It's a great stone for realising your self worth. Keep it close to attract love and positivity. Rose quartz is also a perfect stone for those who suffer with anxiety because of its calming energy. I don't suffer with anxiety, but get some love in my life. <laughs> we have a patch which says radiate positive vibes. It's really hard to read this. It's, it's easier on camera than it is in real life because it's like baby pink and white writing. It's like a iron on patch. And we have another bag with a mirror. It says, your outer world reflects your inner world. And it's just a mirror. Yep, I believe that. Negativity on the outside makes you negative on the inside. This is really full, this box. Uh, then we have a pin. I love pins. And this is quite cute. This is a witch casket exclusive and it's a little witch and she looks happy. So positive witch. That's cute. Ooh, we have some tea. Very small bag of tea. It is uh, raspberry lemonade tea. That sounds incredible. Contains apple, hibiscus petals, rosehip pieces, lemon peel, chamomile and cornflower petals, strawberry leaves, raspberry pieces, natural flowers, uh, great hot or cold. Oh, that sounds good. It looks very petally. Oh. oh, it smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait to show this. Oh, it actually smells like lemonade. Like, strawberry lemonade. That's literally what it smells like, strawberry lemonade. If you buy strawberry lemonade from like McDonald's and sniff it, that's what this smells like. Oh, I can't wait, I love tea. We have a scroll with a pink sticker on it. I have seen people moan that the stickers rip the scroll, so that's going to annoy me immensely. Yes, didn't rip it. <laughs> So this is a positive, positive energy in magic. There's a lot of writing about positive energy, so I will not read this all. If you want to pause and read, you can. I will read this later. But I think you always get a little parchment about whatever the theme is. So like, this is positivity box, so this is about positivity. We have some candles. We have some bright pink candles. They're just plain wax candles. They, don't... they smell like incense, but it's because they've been sitting next to the incense in the box. But they're cute. So we have two things left. We have positive vibes. Incense. Uh, mm. Is I don't really know what these smell like. 
I'm not really the biggest incense person. I mean, I don't actually own an incense burner. But they still smell so strong without burning them. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells nice. Can't see, I need a haircut. And the last thing in the box comes wrapped in bubble wrap. And it's definitely the biggest thing in the box. And it says positive vibes. It's a jar with what looks like a lid of a money box. And it says positive vibes with like a gem and a pentagram. And it has things inside. Ooh. Don't drop it on the floor, Jenea. Ooh. I drop everything. So this is a positive vibes jar. So add the rose petals. I also have a little bag of what I presume are mini rose quartz. Yep, <laughs> next word. Add the rose petals and rose quartz to your jar to release their positive qualities. Every time you feel good about something, write it on a piece of paper, fold it and put it inside the jar. This could be when someone paid you a compliment or when you achieve something that makes you feel good. Or you read something that resonates with you. Write it down and add it to your jar. With each piece of paper, more positive energy is added to your jar. If ever you feel life, that life is... Sorry, it's really tiny writing. If ever you feel like life is grinding you down or you are feeling or you are filled with despair open up your jar release all the positive energy and read through those positive affirmations and memories to remind yourself how wonderful life is that's cute so you put these in here obviously without the bags and then without the piece of card and then write things down and stick them in the top i mean i probably won't do that just because like I said I'm a very positive person anyway like I work in a hospital and I kind of feel like it's my job to be positive because I work with people who have had life-changing things happen to them and the last thing they need is the people looking after them to be miserable and grumpy and negative so I've always been positive I will always try and look on the bright side of life and yeah so I think this box probably isn't the best for me because I don't need positivity because i am positive as i keep saying um but i like the stuff in here it's really pretty and i have enjoyed it i mean i haven't enjoyed as much as watching last month's box i'm so sad that i didn't get it <sighs> but oh well um hopefully the stuff i ordered from last month's box will turn up and then what i might do is when next month's box turns up i might show you the stuff from last month that i ordered yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. Um, I like this box. This box is like £28 a month, so it's not cheap. Um, that includes PMP, I think, I'm pretty sure. So it's one that I think you have to really like this stuff. This isn't gonna be like a box of people that just sort of eh, it's alright. Um, like I said, I'm not a practicing witch, but I do love this stuff. And I really want to get a shelf and put all the bits from this on the shelf, like the candles and the gems and stuff. Um, just to sort of look at how pretty it is. And I will get like a folder or something can put in the scrolls. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot the piece of paper. So list of contents. Uh, they all appear to be witch exclusives. So got the positivity jar with herbs and crystals. Positive Vibes Flip Book, Inner World Pocket Mirror, Positive Vibes Patch, Confidence Anointment Ritual Kit, Enamel Pen, Positive Energy in Magic Parchment Roll, and then the non-exclusive are the uh, Rose Quartz Tumble Stone, Pink Thoughts Coloured Spell Candles, Organic Raspberry and Lemon Tea by Tea Cakes of York, um, Positive Vibes Satya and Satya? Incense Candles A6 Art by Tea Cakes and A6 Art Print by Rat Lady I think my favourite thing is probably the art prints like this is so cute this rat, I have pet mice and I love them with all my heart but one, like I, I only have a mouse now one died, one is still going strong at six and a half years old she's an OAP now so 
I'm kind of sad that six and a half is over living. She's over lived. So in the terrible event that something happens to her, I think I will get rats next because I love rodents. They're so cute. Oh, and I'm looking forward to this tea. Oh, I'm so looking forward to tea. I love tea. Tea is the best. Oh. Anyway, there's another thing I don't like. My least favourite is probably this just because it seems a bit pointless to me. But I will give it to someone who will not be pointless for. So, what do you think of this new box? Anyone else get this or excited about this? Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and if you want to see more of my face, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!